Hello, maestros. How good is your flirting game? Not all men can pull it off successfully, because flirting requires a level of finesse that only a few men possess. Being a good flirt is proof of having apex communication skills. It takes a high level of intelligence, the ability to use every situation to your advantage, and the ability to read the body language of women with ease. These are skills that make you good with women and also make you a force other men have to contend with. Good flirts tend not to be successful at getting what they want because they are masters of communicating what they want and getting others in line. Sigma men being experts at reading people and getting what they want are natural flirts. They do it in the most subtle way that you may not notice they are flirting, which is exactly what you need to achieve if you want to win in this game. So how do Sigma men do it? Subscribe to the channel and let us get right into it. Number 1. Use pickup lines correctly. Maestros, you have to start the conversation one way or another. So how do you start? The natural go-to for most men is to use pickup lines. Unfortunately, pickup lines may not be helping you so much if you cannot use them properly. Women would see you as a man who is not so intelligent if all you can do is spew out some common pickup line. She has heard one million times. Let me help you out here so you really understand how bad this is. The most common pickup guys resort to is telling a lady she is beautiful. This is the most ridiculous thing you can ever do. Please don't do it. While she is obviously beautiful, that is why you walked up to her. You still need to avoid sounding like she is doing anyone a favor by being beautiful. Instead of telling her she is beautiful, tell her you like her choice of shoes instead. My man, the moment you give her this type of compliment, you activate a lot of activities in her brain. She was not expecting that, and you are appreciating something that has to do with her choices. It makes her concerned and interested in what you think about the choices she makes, so she is more willing to have a little chat with you. She is likely going to ask you what you love about her shoes, and she is also likely going to consciously look at her shoes. What she is doing here is, she is making sure she is worthy of your compliment. Making a girl feel conscious of your compliment is what you should be aiming for. Not some soulless compliment that would get you only a thank you. So even if you want to compliment her looks, make a statement or question that would cause her to say much more than thank you. If you are not sure what to say, ask her questions instead. Ensure your question is friendly, ensure it is something that would make her smile, and ensure it would get her talking. Sigma men usually do things differently so these men do not recycle popular pickup lines. Number 2. Do not apologize for approaching her. You must have heard men say, sorry to disturb you when they approach women. This is a really terrible start. It is this kind of sorry r statement that makes women treat men like trash. Never start a conversation with anybody with an apology because it immediately makes you appear weak. What you want is to communicate that you are a confident man who knows what he wants, knows what he is doing, and is not afraid of rejection. Saying sorry even before you get to the point of why you approached her makes it obvious that you are scared of her. Instead, do it the Sigma way. Make sure you time your entry to avoid having to apologize for anything. Ensure she is not busy with other people or doing anything that would make you apologize for disturbing her. Situation awareness is one of the strengths of Sigma men. They are not insensitive and would not get into a situation that would embarrass them. Sigma men are proud and would avoid embarrassment by all means. So ensure she would have time to talk with you. So you approach a girl and she tells you, sorry, I have a boyfriend. This could force you to apologize, but you should never apologize. Instead, tell her that it is fine and move on with your life. Reserve your apologies for when you truly need them, not for picking up ladies. Go in hot and sleek if you want to flirt with a girl, not like a shy toddler trying to ask mama for ice cream. Number 3. Do not brag her. I really can't blame men for making the mistake of trying to bribe women just to have a talk with them. This is one of the trash TV and movies have taught men. It is very common to see men walk up to a lady and ask, can I buy you a drink? 
Maestros, when you make offers to a lady you are just getting to know, that what you are doing is bribing her. If she is not in need of help, don't go offering unsolicited gifts to women just to get their attention. It is a weak move, and what she begins to see is a walking wallet. Yeah, women love men who can buy them stuff, so it will seem she likes you initially, but you will need to keep spending to keep such a relationship alive, because that is the basis on which you founded the relationship. Are you man enough? Then dare to flirt with her without bribing her. Number 4. Ask questions that would get her talking. Sigma men are pros at asking the right questions. The reason why Sigma men are so good at getting people talking is that they pay close attention when they are relating with others. A Sigma male would likely notice if you are trying to hide something or if a subject means a lot to you. These men would hit on topics they know she cannot resist answering, and when they ask questions, you can be sure that Sigma men are always sincere. You are trying to flirt, so ensure the questions are not the ones that are serious or can cause negative emotions. Number 5. Break the touch bearer. If you can get a woman to touch you, or she is comfortable with you touching her, then you are moving your connection with her to the next level. If physical contact is non-existent, forced, or uncomfortable, then know you are stuck at level 0 or 1 with her. You are not touching her because it makes you feel good. No, you break the touch boundary to make her feel more comfortable with you. That is the aim. Breaking this boundary can be tricky, but only for men who are too conscious about it or trying to force it. This is where you need to man up and stop taking it too seriously. Get used to commending people with a friendly, encouraging pat. That is exactly what you need here. So do not go out touching women like a creep. For a lady you are not yet close to, pats are what you need, and it must not be suggestive. Do not go for more than two pats at most for the entire conversation. Ensure whatever you do is appropriate to the situation. Also, when there is a need to get close to her, do it with confidence. For example, if she is trying to show you something on her phone, step in and close the gap. Get close to her. Another good touch is to help her fix a strand of hair that seems to be troubling her. You can actually offer to do it for her and then go for it. Just make your actions natural. If it is forced, she will feel it, and it will make you look creepy. Number 6. Be suggestive. Flirting is all about being suggestive. It has to be sensual, but you are never direct. This is what makes it all fun. She understands you clearly, and she knows what you are talking about. But it is a comfortable way for her to express her naughty side without feeling she is giving too much away. You could talk about what she thinks is a romantic day, for example, but it can be any subject rally as long as it provides an opportunity for both of you to talk about romance. Sigma men never shy about bringing up topics that other men may be scared of. Number 7. Give her something to look forward to. The reason why women stop replying to messages from men is because there is nothing to look forward to. Sigma men always leave a lot off the table if she wants to find out more then she has to keep in touch. That is why Sigma men are called men of mysteries. You can easily tell that they have a lot of experience and stuff to talk about, and yet they are not telling it all. Think of it as setting up a cliffhanger in a great book. You revealed just enough to make her curious, but not everything. It keeps her wanting more, eagerly turning the pages. And in this dating story, you're the author, creating anticipation and excitement for the next chapter. You casually mention an upcoming event, a fantastic dinner reservation, or a surprise outing, but you keep the details tantalizingly elusive. Hey, I've got something in store for us this weekend, and trust me, you're going to love it. But that's all you're getting for now. It's a blend of mystery and excitement, and it's bound to pique her interest. Just like a skilled poker player, you show a few cards but keep the rest close to your chest. Let her imagination run wild, let her curiosity dance, and watch how it heightens her interest in getting to know you better. Whatever you do, the important thing is to be genuine, make her feel safe, and get her talking and smiling. That is all it takes, my friend. If you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video and watch this one as well. Thanks for watching.